hello guys welcome back to our course on langchain so in this video we're going to go ahead and cover agents in langchain and how you can use agents in lunch a uh, langchain so basically what's an agent basically we'll cover basically what's an agent what are different tools that agents can use and all that so what's an agent basically so initially we look at the chain right in the previous tutorial we look at chain what's the chain basically is right so a chain basically combines different things they can combine an lm with a given prompt template or something like that right so all the parts, all the operations, all the tasks that you want to do has been predefined using the chain, right? Uh, from this task, perform this task, and then perform the other one. All of them has been predefined by using the chain. But with agents, right, we can provide the agent with a bunch of tools, and then the agent will use the help of an LLM to decide which tool to use. So let's say that we, basically, basically we provide uh, an agent can be a person, right, that, we, that has a toolbox, right? The toolbox can, can consist of a lot of tools, but the agents or the person needs to know which tool to use. In this case, our agent doesn't have a reasoning ability, so it uses an, an LLM to decide which tool to use. So each tool comes with a description on what the tool does. So an LLM uses, an agent uses, uses the description of these tools uh, to know which of the tools to use for the underlying job. And that's basically what the point of an LLM is. So an LLM, to create an LLM, we need a couple of things. We need an L, we need, sorry, to create an agent, we need a couple of things. The first thing we need is we can either have an LLM or we can have a chain, an LLM chain. And then we need, also need a tool. So these tools can be a different tool. So it, it, they can be a tool to connect to your database, to get data from your database. They can be a tool to perform Google search, like if you want your AI to be able to search something live on the internet. Like in this case, you're going to go ahead and build uh, an agent that can basically uh, search things on Google, right? And that can perform mathematical operations. So there are different agents and agents that can connect to your database, agents that can read a file. And then go get content from the file and then use that to create, uh, create a uh, appropriate user response and we'll look at all that just as we go along and also finally to create an agent you also need an agent name right an agent needs to have a name basically that's all we need to create an agent so let's jump into it and see how you can create an agent so we're going to create an agent that can browse things on the internet right so the first thing we need to go ahead and do i have loaded my environment variable so we have gone over all this in the beginning series uh, of the video of the course so you know how to load in all the environments where we have loaded our api key so also one thing we also we need is we need to install uh google uh, because you're going to create a bot basically an agent that is has a tool that can enable it to search things on google right so for example if you ask our agent to translate uh, to convert maybe current current uh, currency xx into currency xy the agent needs to go and go ahead and get the current rate the current uh, the conversion rate from the internet and use that conversion rate to convert the currency that we want to the desired currency that we are interested in right so we need to go ahead and install uh this right here is called google search results and just go ahead and this will pip install google search results i already installed it already so once you have that done you also need to have an api key for sub api because to use this api you need to have this sub api key so how do you get this up sub api key so just go to or online and search for sub api uh, sub api.com and it will bring you to this website right here so once you're on this website right here you can simply go ahead and click on uh, registration and stuff like that and you can just go ahead and use it okay so i already have an account right here and i already have my api key so you go ahead and create an account and then log into your dashboard if i go into my dashboard i'll be showing you my uh, api key which i don't want to do so just go ahead and uh, click on register there will be a register button right here register with your google account or whatever email that you have and once you are then register get an api key and once you have the API key, run this command right here, just say exclamation mark and then export sub API key. Make sure it's exactly this name. If it's not this name, it's not going to work. So make sure it's exactly this name and then equals to and then equals to this is going to be the key that you copied from this platform right here. Okay, so go ahead and paste that key right here and press enter. And that's going to go ahead and add the, the sub API key to your environment variables on your operating system. So once you have that done, we can go ahead and begin to write, run our code. So to write our code. Again, just to mention, guys, I have also the written version of this video in an article form, and you can find that all here, okay? Okay, so in case you're having any issues or you need to copy any code or any command, you can always go back in here and get the code, okay? So once I have that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and uh, create an agent. So uh, just go ahead and do import. So just go and say imports, and you're going to go ahead and say from langchain.agent. I'm going to go ahead and import agent uh, type okay so agent uh, agent type i'm also going to go and say initialize uh, initialize agent that's going to help us to create an an agent so initialize underscore agent 
just like that and also when you go ahead and say load underscore tools just like that so once you have all that done i'm just going to run that to have make sure i have that imported i'm also going to say from lang chain right i'm going to say from lang chain uh from lang chain uh lang chain i'm going to go ahead and import open lang chain dot llms right so my bad so lang chain dot llms i'm going to go ahead and import uh open ai that's right there and i'm also going to go yeah that's all i need for now so because to create uh, an agent i mentioned earlier on we need an we need the first thing we need to do is to have uh basically a chain or an llm so let's go ahead and create the llm right here so i'm going to say the llm is going to be equals to open uh open ai and you have seen this a couple of times right so say open ai and then say api key and this is going to be equals to our api key that i have right here so copy that and paste it uh, right here and then that's all we need to go create the agent so run that we have the we have now the llm so the second thing we that we need to do is to have basically what the llm can do basically a set of tools right that the, that the agent can use to uh accomplish a certain operation so that's you can think of the tools like a swiss knife right there's a lot of uh, different sections that you can use to perform a desired task so uh we're going to say let me say tools right here uh tools and you're going to go ahead and create the tools right here and the tools are going to be say you're going to say load underscore tools which, 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 which is what we just imported right here so we're going to say load tools and you're going to go ahead and pass in the tools that you want to get so we're going to pass in the tools in form of a, the a python the python list right so we're going to pass the tool the first tool we're going to use is called the sub uh sub api api tool and also uh that's uh, one tool we can use we can use a tool called uh llm uh hyphen math tool so this is used for performing mathematical operation because currently LMs are not that good in performing mathematical operations, but with this, uh, uh, this mo model is a bit advanced in performing mathematical operations. So we have two tools right here, the sub tool and also the uh, LLM mathematical tool. So once we have that, I'm also going to write in the, the LLM and the LLM is going to be equals to, and I'm going to have pass in our LLM that we just created up here, right? So run that cell and that's all we need to, go, need to do. So now we have an LLM, we have a bunch of tools. Now we need to create an agent and give the agent a name. So when we say agent, and the agent is going to be equals to and i'm going to say initialize agent and i'm going to go ahead and pass in the tools the agent need the llm and then finally uh, sorry the llm uh, let me get it right so the llm and uh, finally we also need to pass in the agent type so the agent type is going to be the following so we say agent type right, which is what we imported right here so agent type dot you're going to use a zero uh zero uh short reaction agent so that's a react agent so if you're not a react agent is don't worry about that i'm going to leave you actually if you guys are interested i'm going to leave you you can actually just go to docu official documentation and check the available uh, agents that uh, L, uh lang chain has but for now you're going to use the react agent so if you're coming from web development you think react is like the framework for building web apps uh, front ends uh, L, uh react agents are a bit different right here and i'll leave uh, actually a link in the description where you can you can read about LLMs and what LLMs does and all these concepts of miracle systems. If you know about the miracle systems, right? I will leave a link to all that in the description. If you want to read more about uh, all this, you can also check the, uh, this document, this uh, article post that I post on my Medium page. It has all the things that we are discussing in this video. So in case you need to go ahead and check all that, you can uh, just go and do that. Okay, so having said that, now we can go back and continue with uh, where we left from. So we're going to be using a React agent. I'm not going to go into details about what a React agent is. Now, again, I'll leave a link where you guys can read more about what a React agent is. So once I have that agent created, now I can simply go ahead and run that agent. So I can simply say agent dot uh, agent dot run, and I can pass in uh, basically uh, instructions what I or like basically questions I want to ask. So I can say what uh, is the current weather in uh nairobi like okay and then run that and i can see me go ahead and we get back the results so we ask it what is the current weather in nairobi like so if you go on chat gpt and type in the same question chat gpt will tell you i don't have access to recent information so how comes our agent is able to get access to the information so we're asking about temperature right so our agent our agent is gonna say uh, our agent is gonna look into his toolbox and we have these two tools run one for math and one for google search so it's going to see okay to get the te current temperature do we need a math tool or do we need a google search tool so the large language models like ChatGPT can tell it hey to, do, to find the current temperature in nairobi you don't need a math tool but instead you need a google search tool so it's going to go ahead and google this information on google and then get the response back pass it to the llm modify it and then respond return to us the response right here so you can see current temperature in nairobi is 13 
uh, uh, getting, I don't know, MPH, winds, cloudy skies. Uh, yeah, it's actually very warm right now. So, yeah, so that's information is actually very correct. It's actually warm and uh, not too warm, but yeah. That's it. Uh, and then you can see the information actually correct. So, how did, uh, if you ask this question to ChatGPT, you won't get a response. So, let's actually, if you want to confirm, you can just get a, a normal LM model. Let's gonna go ahead and do a prediction by talking to ChatGPT. I predict. I'm going to go ahead and copy this question right here. And if you pass it into the ChatGPT itself, I think, I don't think it's gonna return to your response. But let's try and see. And uh, let's, see, let's uh, see what we get back. But I know uh, ChatGPT doesn't have access to the current information. So uh, it's sunny, the temperature uh, from blah, blah, Fahrenheit, blah, blah. So you got back a response back. Now that's, I'm not sure about the the answer there. So you can actually just check this out and confirm if this is actually true. So it's around 18 to 19 degrees Celsius, uh, Celsius, sorry, Celsius. So the current weather in Nairobi is sunny with temperatures ranging from this to this. Yeah, so it actually got it correct. But I'll, I'm, I'm interested to find out this in the actual chat GPT if it's actually going to work, okay? So make sure, make sure that our, this, our tool is not running in the background. We can just copy this and paste in chat GPT, chat GPT itself and see the response we get back, okay? So I have just opened up my chat GPT and I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste in that question and try to ask chat GPT itself. But let's see what response chat GPT get back. So you can see chat GPT says, I apologize, but an AI language model, I do not have real-time information. So you can see it doesn't have real-time information. So uh, once you can see that, ChatGPT itself doesn't have real-time information because it's only up to date until September 2021. So you can see that off clearly that ChatGPT can't answer such a question. But because you're using LangChain and you're using this, it's actually in the background, it's running, uh, it's using this tool, Google Sub Tool, to create the internet. That's why you're getting this result back. But in the actual world, ChatGPT itself cannot answer a question about real-time information. So you can see now the power of using uh, using uh, things like uh, 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 LangChain and uh, these different agents, right? So you can see that works perfectly. Right. So once we have that done, we can also use, let's try to use the math tool and see. Okay. So let me say, uh, go back in here. Say, uh, I have, okay, let me just, okay, let's actually get the the conversion rate. So let's say that uh, what is 200 uh, USD in Kenyan shillings, in Kenyan uh, shillings. Right. Once I have that, we just go keep a question mark and run that. So we're asking it what is uh, $200, uh, $200 in Kenyan shillings? And it's telling us that it's about $20,945. Uh, 40, so let's actually confirm this. I'm going to copy this uh, information. You can go in here and let's take that $200 and let's see what we get. So actually 28. So it's a bit, uh, okay, let me see if I'm using the right tool. Okay, I'm using the wrong tool actually. I want to use my agent and not the LLM model. So I want to copy this and use my actual agent. So you can see this information is a bit outdated. So I'm going to copy this. And just go in here and just move this and say agent dot uh, run and then pass in the query right here and uh, the prompt and let's see what we get back. So we ask it what is two hundred US uh, USD in Kenyan shillings and it says that it's about twenty one thousand, which is not. Um, uh, let's see, uh, it's not that correct, but let's run it again and let's see what we get. Okay, hopefully get it correct, right? Because it's gonna be performing Google search and uh, I think maybe keeping the the USD close to the 200 without the space is giving us an issue. But now you can still get the actual answer, which is 28,200 and something, right? So it is 28,300. Okay, it's a bit, uh, it's just slight difference, but you can see uh, it's actually getting that information back. So my, my prompt, I just modify the prompt and beat and you're getting back the actual uh, pr good uh, result, right? So you can see uh, the, uh, the powers of using uh, long chain and agents because these guys have abilities to, to search the internet to get real-time information rather than chat GPT that uh, has information until uh, September 2021, right? So you can see that's really, really powerful, right? So if you're building an application that you need to get actual information, uh, do currency conversion, do maybe you're building a chatbot for financial agency. Yeah, there you go. You can uh, do all that, uh, all that uh, easily and quickly, right? So get that and let's actually try to now make a use of the math, LLM math module uh, tool. Okay, so let's ask it, um, what is uh, 2 raised to 100, right? Oh, that's a big number. <laughs> okay, let's say, what is 10 raised to 2? That should be 100, right? 10 raised to, raised to 2. Uh, let's see what the AI gets to tell us. So in this case, it's probably going to go ahead. If the question is not too difficult, it's going to go ahead and use the math tool and then uh, get for us the answer because 10 raised to 2 is a math question. So 10 raised to 2 is 100 and that's actually correct. 
so good so you can perform more complicated math mathematical operations right You're using the llm math tool and you can actually do current google search using the sub tool right so if you ask ChatGPT any current equation ChatGPT can answer you but if you use a, a tool that can have access to things like sub api and other uh, other api calls and other you can even connect this to your own database to pull information from your own database you can now begin to see the power of uh, using something like langchain right so i hope now that gives you a good idea of what langchain uh, agents really are and how agents can be very very powerful in whatever you're doing right so good as you have seen how we can use uh, agents and uh, how we can work with different agents in using this so there are different tools you can use you can also create your own custom tools and these are a bit more advanced concepts and we'll talk more about them later on but this concept is that this uh, course is just to lay the foundation of just introducing you to the different things in uh, in long chain so that if you case you want to build an application you have an idea at least where to start from and that's the whole purpose of this course so there are a lot lot of stuff and later on if you guys want more on this just let me know i uh, will do more videos on uh, long chain okay so that's this is just a like beginner like getting you started with long chain so that's basically how you can use agents in long chain yeah so you can see that's working perfectly and you're getting back the the right uh, answer so now uh, we can also do one more thing you can also go in and say verbose uh verbose uh, let me just say verbose equals to true so verbose equals to true so you can see what the ai is actually doing in the background so we can run it you can see it's a reasoning it's a st stuff like that and i talk about this concept of miracle systems and it has something to do with that so you can see how the, the thought process of the ai how it comes out to the result so you can see action uh, search weather in nairobi so this is the input and say partial cloud leap blah blah so it actually search the weather in nairobi and decide to uh, get back the thoughts and say and give us back its thoughts uh, I, I now know the current uh, the final answer and then give us the final answer so if first need i need to find out the current weather in nairobi right based on our question needs to find the current weather in nairobi so it goes ahead and which tool did it choose it uses the search tool so you can see right here it uses the search tool which is search uh sub api so it uses sub api and then from that sub api it, it got the it, it got it search for current weather in nairobi and then finally it got the observe it got an observation from that uh, api call and then you can see you know, it finally says i know the final answer and then give us the final answer so you can see its thought process and how it's going about coming that with that answer so now let's run this again so now that's uh that's the point of having the boss so you can see what's really going on so it needs it says that i should use a, a tool to convert currency okay so, and then go us ahead and use a search input 200 usd to kenya shillings so we actually use a google search right here so usd shillings is among this in kenya shillings uh we have converted 20 shillings to uh, uh, this amount of kenyan shilling uh, i now know the final answer and then it gave us the final answer which is this right here right so that's basically how the the bot is working in the background and how its reasoning process is going to be is actually being in the background so guys uh, even if you run this right here let's see which tool actually uses does it use a search tool or which tool does it use it so it says that uh, i need to i need to calculate uh, i need a calculator to solve this so you can see it, it determines that it needs a calculator and how does it know that it needs a calculator this is coming from an llm right a large language models like in this case we're using uh, open ai so it's going to chat gpt and asking it uh, i have these tools and i want to solve this problem like which tools can i use and say hey you need a calculator tool so it goes ahead the action calculator input is the tool 10 raised to the power 2 the answer is this and then finally give us the final answer uh to the 10 raised to 2 is 100 and which is this answer right here good so you can see how the agent is reasoning and using the different tools it has to make the decisions that it's making right so guys uh that's all for this video and that's all i wanted to cover uh, in this video guys so thank you guys for watching so much and if you enjoyed the video make sure that you like the video you subscribe to the youtube channel and leave a comment let me know uh, whether you guys are enjoying this video whether you want me to add more content to this uh cause or stuff like that let me know in the comment section below i'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Keep safe.